Hello children, welcome to your yoga class. In today's class, we are going to be pirates. Oh, are we hearties? But first of all, we're going to start with our breathing. So we're going to cross our legs, or we are going to do half lotus, where we bring our foot up onto our thigh. And we're going to sit up nice and tall with our shoulders down. We're going to tie a piece of string to the top of our heads and then we're going to throw it over a cloud. So we go one, two, three and throw and we pull and we pull and we pull and we pull until we are sitting up really tall because this string is reaching us up to the sky. So our first breathing exercise is, uh, we are going to be the wind. So I want you to breathe in through your nose. I'm going to breathe out and reach all the way over. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in. Well done. Let's lift our legs up in the air, woohoo, and cross them the other way. So the other foot comes in front or on top. So we're sitting up nice and tall again, and this time we are going to take our bumblebee breathing. So we're going to take our thumbs and we're going to push them against our ears, the flappy bits of our ears. And we're going to bring our hands on our heads. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to have a big breath in. And hum. Breathe in. Breathe in and hum. Mm. And bring your hands down. Did that breathing exercise make you feel quite sleepy? It did me. And now we're going to be snakes. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and hiss. Now when we hiss, we can feel our tummies pulling in, but also we're, we can have a big smile on our faces. So let's try it again. Big breath in and hiss. Very good. Now this time we're going to do short hisses. So let's breathe in. And we go. Good. It's like a laughing snake, isn't it? Let's try it again. Breathe in. And we go. Very good, well done. One more thing. Okay, let's come on to our knees. We're going to sit back here. Now we're going to have a big breath in through our nose. And as we do our snake hiss, we're going to reach forwards into a snake posture. So we go like this, we reach our hands forwards, we bring our hips down, we bring our shoulders down, and we go. Let's try it properly. So come onto your knees, have a big breath in, and we go. One more time, come back, and it's like you're pouncing forwards. 
have a big breath in and we go brilliant well done okay i think we're ready to be pirates so let's stand up and we are going to walk along the plank to get onto our pirate ship so arms wide our backs are straight and our tummies are pulled in. Now when we walk the plank, it's very wobbly and it's very narrow. So we have to take one foot in front of the other. And we've got to really use our feet. One foot in front of the other. And I'm moving from my heel through to the ball of my foot. And I'm going to keep walking around keeping my arms strong, trying not to fall in, oh. and I'm trying to keep my chin lifted so I'm staying nice and tall. And we got onto our pirate ship, well done pirates. So let's come onto our hands and knees now because we are going to be the plank. We're going to take our leg out behind us and it's strong and straight. It's not bent, it's straight out. Just like a strong plank. We're going to keep our arms strong and let's see if we can hold here for five counts. One, two, three. Keep it straight. Four, five. Well done. Let's try the other side. Stretch your leg out, keep it strong and straight. Keep your arms strong. One, two, three, four, five, and come down. That was brilliant, pirates, well done. Okay, we set sail and we are rocking and rolling along. So let's come up onto our knees. We're going to be the ship pushing through the waves. So we're going to bring our hands onto our bottoms and we're going to push our bottoms forwards. And we're going to lift our head up and back. We're pushing our hips forwards and we're reaching our heads back and we're trying to see what is behind us. And coming back up, well done. And now we're going to be a rock. So we're bringing our bottoms down, arms either side of us and heads down because we are rocking and rolling through the waves. Woohoo! And slowly come up. Now, we have bought our treasure map with us. But before we go and look for treasure, we're going to have a good rest in our beds. So let's sit on our bottoms and bring our feet flat. And we're going to bring our hands behind us, fingers pointing towards our bottoms. We're going to have a big breath in and lift our bottoms nice and high. Breathe in, lift a bit higher to be a bed. Breathe in, lift a bit higher. And can you see that your tummy is nice and flat, just like a bed for somebody to lie on? <gasps> but the sea is so rough tonight and it makes our bed move. So see if you can move one way. <laughs> but keep your bottom nice and high and then see if you can move oh, the other way. Oh, it's so rocky. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. And now lift one leg up. Oh, and now lift the other leg up. So you can lift your arm up and see if you can lift your other arm up. Oh my goodness. And come back. Slowly come down. Whew. Feel how strong your arms are getting. That was amazing. Now, finally the night is over. Oh, and the sea is much calmer. We wake up early in the morning and have a big stretch in our beds. So we're going to take our legs out in front of us and we're going to point our toes down. We're going to bring our hands behind us. We're going to have a big breath in and push our bottoms nice and high. See if you can reach your head back. Breathe in. Ooh, big stretch and come down. 
going. Well done. Let's push our covers off now. So lift your toes up, get your duvet and push it off because we don't need it anymore. And sit up. Oh, it's such a lovely morning and our ship is bobbing in the water. So let's bring our toes on the floor and our arms either side. Let's try and get our back straight and we're going to lift our feet off the bobbing boat. Oh, see if we can hold it here. One, two, keep those tummies pulled in, three, four, five. Well done. Good work. Now we decide to do some fishing. So lift your toes back up and reach forwards. See if you can hold on to your big toes tight with each hand. And we're going to pull our fishing net back. So reach your net back as far as you can. One, two, three, and throw your net into the ocean. And then pull the net in. Pull faster, faster, faster. Whew. What did you catch? Uh, a shark? Oh my gosh, no way. Not a whale. <laughs> Let's try the other net. Reach forward. Hold on to your big toes. And then you're going to reach one foot back. This is your net. One, two, three and throw your net into the water and pull the net in faster 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 Whew. what did you catch starfish fish definitely rainbow colored i bet well done everybody right okay what we can see in the ocean is a whale oh it's magnificent let's lie on our bottoms and we are going to be a whale. So we're going to breathe in, and we're going to lift our hips up, and we go, and we come all the way down. Let's breathe in again, and we lift our bottoms nice and high, and we go, and come down. Great whales, everybody. I think it's time. I think it's time that we got our spyglass out and had a look round for Treasure Island. So stand up, get your spyglass, put it against one eye, pirate. Bend your knees, stick your bottoms out and have a look round. Can you see Treasure Island in the distance? <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, but look lower. I can see the sharks. Oh no. Let's come on to our tummies to be a shark. And we're going to interlock our fingers behind our back and stretch our arms and lift our chests up. Show your teeth <sighs> to be a shark. And we're going to lift one leg up and the other leg up as if we're moving along the ocean floor. <sighs> and come down. Brilliant! And we can see so many fish. Let's sit on our bottoms and bring our feet out in front of us. We're coming down onto one elbow and the other elbow and we're lifting our chests up and we go. Fishes. My is blue. And let's sit back up. Oh no! But then we see something else in the distance. It's another ship and it's got a skull and crossbones flag on it. That means unfriendly pirates. We are going to have to get our sails out as quickly as we can. So let's, let's take our legs wide. And let's lift up for the ropes. Have a big breath in. And pull. Big breath in, reach up high. And pull. We've got to work together. Big breath in, reach up high. And pull. It's no good. We're going faster, but not fast enough. Those baddie pirates. 
pirates are getting closer and closer to us. And we can see that one of the pirates has got a parrot on his shoulder. Let's come on to our knees, arms either side. Let's be that parrot. Have a big breath in, reach up high, and we go squawk, squawk, squawk. Big breath in, reach up high, and we go squawk, squawk, squawk. Big breath in, reach up high, and we go squawk, squawk, squawk. We're going to have to walk the plank again, but this time we're walking the plank to get into the water to escape. Let's stand up. Let's take our arms wide. Do not fall in yet. We've got to walk right to the end of the plank. So let's take one foot in front of the other. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Stay tall and keep your tummies pulled in. We've got a bit further to go. Off we go. Keep moving. Hold those arms strong. Really use your feet. We've reached the end of the plank and now we're going to dive into the water. Are you good at diving? I hope so. Bring your hands together. Have a big breath in. Reach up high. And we go. All the way down to the bottom of the ocean. You are amazing at diving. Now we've got to push ourselves back up to the surface. We've gone so deep. So we're going to bring our arms nice and high because we're reaching up to the surface of the water. We're going to take our leg out behind us and we're going to lift our leg up. One, two, three, four, five. And come down. That was brilliant, but we've still got some way to go. Let's try our other leg. Reach up high, look up with your head, and then lift your other leg up. One, two, three, four, five, and come back up. Well done. We've got to the surface, and now we've got to swim. So, come on to your tummy. Bring your arms out in front of you. Have a big breath in. Reach up high. And we go. With our breaststroke arms. And bring our hands down. Have a big breath in again. Use your arms. And we go. And come down. Keep going. Arms in front of you. Have a big breath in. And we go. And come down. Can anyone do front crawl? Let's go for it. Arms in front, lift up high, and we go. Use your arms. Really strong with those arms. And now it's doggy paddle. Faster. Faster. And come down. Oh my gosh. Push back. It's no good. We are so tired. But then we see some dolphins and the dolphins say that we can get onto their backs and they will take us all the way to Treasure Island. Let's be a dolphin. Lock your fingers tight and put your elbows onto the floor. Give your bottoms a wiggle in the air. Have a big breath in and we come forward. Breathe in, lift your bottom up and we go. Breathe in, lift your bottom up and we go, breathe in, lift your bottom up nice and high. Well done. We have reached Treasure Island. It's so exciting. We've got our treasure maps. Luckily, they are waterproof. So let's have a look at the map. Now, I'm going to come close and I'm going to show you the map. Can you see it? <laughs> So, our ship is down at the bottom just here, look. Can you see it's just here, yeah? And we've got to follow the red line all the way up to the treasure at the top of the map. We've got lots of dangers ahead of us. 
we have got to walk through a forest with warriors that have got spears and arrows that they will shoot with their bows. We have got to get by the sea monster, which is in the lake just here. And then at the top of the map, behind the cliff at the top, there's a little log hut where we can have a rest. And then finally we make our way to the cave where the treasure is. Now right at the top of the map, you can see a bird. It's an eagle, and the eagle will soar low to try and take our treasure from us. Shall we work together and find this treasure? Okay, I'm going to port the map down, just to remind us <clears throat> where we've got to go. First of all, we come off the ship, and we peer now in Treasure Island after the dolphins have led us there. And now we're going to walk through the sinking sand. Oh no! <clears throat> We've got to lift our legs really high. Are we ready? Lift your knees high. Don't get stuck in the sand. Oh my gosh, I can feel myself sinking down. Can you touch your nose to your knee as you walk? <sighs> Keep lifting. Keep going. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Whew. Did anyone sink? Thank goodness, we are okay. We reach the forest, which is full of trees. Let's do a tree balance. Bring your hands together. We're going to put our toe on the floor. And when we're ready, we're going to lift our toe and our foot up. One. Two, three, four, five. Great balancing. Try the other side. As we lift our foot up, we're growing taller. If we feel wobbly, we can bring our toe down and come back up again. One, two, three, four, five. And come down. Well done. Okay, we've got to tiptoe through the forest. Be careful of those warriors. They are asleep. Don't wake them up. Right up onto the balls of your feet as high as you can. Row a boat that's next to the lake 
across the leg to get to the other side. But we have to be quiet. So let's sit on our bottoms. Let's bring our feet out in front of us. Reach for one all. So holding your foot with both hands, backs nice and straight. We're bringing our foot all the way down our leg and we're lifting it back up again. And we're going to whisper. Worms. Put some worms in. 
Now, in my other class the other day, one of the children said, smelly socks. And I think pirates would love to eat smelly socks. Let's put them in. And now it's your turn. Shout out what we need to put in our pirate sandwich. Fantastic. Disgusting. Put them all in. Well done. Okay, now luckily for us, there are bikes just outside the hut. We are going to ride those bikes to the cave where the treasure is. Let's go. So we're going to lie on our backs and we're going to lift our legs up nice and high. Keep your head down and we're going to ride our bikes. Using our legs and making big circles with them. And now we're going down a hill. Let's go faster. Woo -hoo -hoo. And faster. And faster. And faster. Amazing. And now we're coasting along. So we're going to try and do shoulder stamp. We're going to lift our bottoms up. And we're going to hold onto our backs. And we're going to push up nice and high. Hold it here. Try and push up a little bit higher. And then slowly come down. Well done. But as we ride our bikes, there are frogs everywhere. We nearly squashed them with our bike wheels. Let's stand up and we are going to be frogs. Legs wide. Get low. Every time we jump, we have to say, Rebit, are we ready? Five of your highest jumps. Let's go. Rebit. 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 Well done. Great. We've reached the cave. Let's be the cave. Hands on the floor. Feet on the floor. Bottoms in the air. You are the cave. Make sure your legs are straight and your arms are straight and your back is straight too. Now we go into the cave. It's very dark and it's very small. So we come onto our tummies and we're going to bring our arms out in front of us. Now we can't reach very high. There's a very low ceiling and we've got to feel our way. So let's lift our legs and arms up and just move our arms from side to side. Just trying to feel, can you feel the cave around you? And then we're going to try and move along on our tummies because it's so narrow. Lift those legs up and move from side to side. On your tummies, use your arms to pull you along. And then try and go backwards as well. Keep using your arms, pushing down onto your tummy. Good. Okay. Oh no, I've just heard something. It's a sound. It's a snake in the cave. Hands under your shoulders, push up nice and high with your shoulders down, and we go. Try and reach your head right back, keeping your arms strong and then try and lift your feet up towards your head and push back and then bring your legs down and come down. Okay, I think we're past the snake but then there are things crawling on us. What do you think it is? Spiders in the cave! So let's stand up, legs wide. We're going to stretch our spider legs. We're reaching down and we're holding on to our ankles. Try and pull your head downwards, but your head must not push down onto the floor. So reaching your head down and not putting any pressure on your head, keep reaching and keep pulling. And then slowly come up. Hold on a minute, put your binoculars on, stick your bottoms out. Can you see something? Can you see something shining? It's the treasure! Wow, well done pirates! Let's sit on our bottoms and we are going to be the 
the treasure chest. Let's take our legs wide. Now, can you see? My legs are bent, so my knees are up. And I'm reaching for my ankles, the bony bits on top of my feet. And then I'm pulling my head towards the floor to close the chest lid. So reach down with your head. And then come up. Wow, the treasure looks amazing. Come onto your knees. We're going to pick some of the treasure up and put it into our backpacks. So pick some up, lift it up, put it down into your backpack and then reach your other hand underneath and try and find your fingers if you can. Can you feel them? And release. Other hand, pick some treasure up, lift it up, put it into your backpack, bring your other arm underneath and try and find your fingers. And release down. We've done it. But then we hear the rain start to come with the thunder and lightning. Let's stand up. Let's take our legs wide. And first of all, we can feel the rain on our heads. Fast fingers. We can feel the rain on our cheeks coming through. And we can feel it on our legs. Thunder and lightning. The thunder goes crash, 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 crash. And the lightning goes And then we look behind us and we can see the baddie pirates chasing us. They want our treasure. Knees high, run as fast as you can. the ocean. The dolphins are waiting for us to take us home. We jump onto their backs. Come onto your knees to be the dolphins. Lock your fingers tight and bring your elbows onto the floor. Give your bottom a wriggle. Big breath in. And we go. Breathe in, lift up. And we go. Breathe in, lift up. And we go. And come up. But then we look above us. <gasps> what can we see? What was the bird at the top of the map? The eagle! It soars low to try and take our treasure from us. Let's stand up to be an eagle. Let's take our arms wide. And we're going to put one arm on top of the other. Tight. Get low and lift your leg up. Ooh, and low as the eagle soars low. Well done. And coming up, bring your arms wide. Put the other arm on top tight. Get low again. Stick your bottom out. Lift your other leg up and over the top. See if you can balance and start to get lower and lower. And come up. It does not get our treasure. We are on our ship and we set sail again. We need to get the sails out. So let's take our legs wide, reach up high, get the rope, have a big breath in, and we go pull. Breathe in, lift up nice and high, and we go pull. Breathe in, and we go pull. <gasps> Whew, what a trick. What a journey, pirates, but we reach home safely with the treasure. We share it out with our family and our friends. We are heroes. They give us a big hug. Arms wide, put one arm on top of the other. Big squeeze. Arms wide, put the other arm on top. Big squeeze again. And come down. That was brilliant. Okay, it's time for us to relax after such a great adventure. So we're going to come down and we're just going to lie on our backs and we're going to make everything floppy and relaxed. So that if I came up and lifted your leg or your arm, it would flop straight back down to the floor. 
If I gave you a little shake, you would wobble like jelly because you are so relaxed. Breathe in and push your tummy out like a balloon. Breathe out and pull your tummy down. And just feel your body sinking down into the floor. And now think about your pirate adventure. Think about that treasure chest full of jewels and gold. Think about all the colours of the different jewels. Think about how it sparkles. We're going to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes and move our head from side to side. And we're going to bend our legs like over on our side and slowly sit up. Well done pirates, let's cross our legs or we can take half lotus when we bring our foot up onto our thigh. If you feel really warm you can have a try at full lotus when you bring your other foot up. And we're going to take chin mudra with our hands where our first finger touches our thumb and we're resting our hands on our knees. We're going to have a big breath in and a big breath out. Opening our eyes, we're breathing in, hands come together and we say namaste which means thank you.